Hello, everybody. This is CB with Your Business Reality, and I have my co-host today, Krista Does Numbers. Hello. You all know her. And we have a special guest, Geraldine Stevens. Hi, how are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, you guys. Yeah, we're so excited to speak with you. I was telling Krista, I was like, you got to talk to Geraldine. She's so awesome. She's you're doing so many amazing things. I mean, you wrote a book. Now you were featured in an article, and then your hairstylist in uh, Hollywood, and then you're part of. Tell us a little bit more of the uh, areas in hairstyling that you are part of. Well, you know, my, I'm Geraldine Stevens, and I'm the head hairstylist for uh, a, some really great TV shows like The Voice, Shark Tank, uh, Songland. Uh, Disney's Fam Jam, which is a new show as well. Um, so it, it, it's, it's my dream has come true and beyond um, as a hairstylist. So, um, I mean, I started out um, in beauty school in 1995. And so I knew immediately this is what I wanted to do. So cut to yeah. 25 years later. <laughs> That's amazing, though. That's pretty good. Like, try it's it's crazy to me like you can still be in something that you love for that long you know and uh right. as long as you love it well you know the thing is is I didn't know I loved it um I actually was turning 25 I mean do you want me to get into like the the you yeah, know yeah. how it began yeah. and it all began Ooh. because I had no idea what to do with my life um I was turning 25 I was bartending it was in the 90s in Seattle which was really um an interesting fun time of grunge and all of that going on and I kind of I I was just sort of like I needed to get my life together and one of my friends suggested beauty school because I had cut my friend's hair and my mom was a kitchen cutter you know growing up so she had gone to beauty school and then never did anything with it but she would cut all of our hair super short in the kitchen and so um i kind of just started doing that you know as i was growing up and then i so i went to beauty school and in beauty school is when i discovered my purpose you know and that's kind of what we're all here for right, right. is to discover what our purpose is and um, you know, and if you love what you do, and I discovered I loved making people feel and look great. And when I was in beauty school, I visited a film set that came to Seattle. And that moment I walked on set, I was like, this is what I want to do. Like, this is what I want to do. So that was my goal, like leaving beauty school. What did I need to do in order to make all that happen? Right. Wow. You're so inspirational for like all women and all people out there because you're every time we you see your Facebook, you're so happy. And that's when I knew she loves what she does. And she, you you are so family orientated as well. You are yeah. always there for your family. So how do you balance the two since you're like in every show? Well, it's funny when I would interview before uh, the pandemic, I'd be like, there's no balance. It's like either I'm like in work and my family's kind of like going, you know, kind of funding for themselves and, but they know what's happening or I'm all in family and my work's on hold because with my shows, it's not like it's Monday through Friday, nine to five. It's like, bam, bam, bam. And then a break. Right. And so, um, it's kind of a nice balance. Actually. I really, really love um, having this schedule that I have, which is really not knowing. Um, and so that I, when I have like two weeks off, I'm all, all in on the family, you know? So, but then you work and then you come home and it's like, you're planning dinners the day before to say, Hey, pull it out of the oven. And ah, I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> Me. But it's like my husband's in the industry too. So my son, we have one son. We've kind of just like, we're a production family. You know, we live on I mean, not knowing. Um, right. But being in, you know, quarantine, um, it's really been such a beautiful time. And I'm looking at this, you know, I'm that girl who's the, the glass is always half full. Okay. So Yes, you are going to see me more positive. If I'm going through some crap, I will go through it. I will talk to people. I will figure it out. And then once I'm through it, if I can help someone else, I share. Okay. But I'm not one of those people who's posting to Facebook while I'm going through all of this craziness or 
uh, sadness or, or whatever it may be, some people like go immediately to say, ah, you know, do you know what I mean? Like the drama to the page right away, instead of like working through it, getting through it, and then being able to inspire others and help others. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, so I mean, your son, I mean, has some great styling hair. I just <laughs> want to point that out. Every time I look at his photos, I'm like, wow, his hair is on point. <laughs> and he, that's amazing. He is very particular about his hair, and which actually makes my heart so happy. Um, he'll like bring Pinterest photos and be like, here's what I want. Or else he'll be like, this is what I want. I just want you to do it as you always do. So he's very particular. Oh, my God, I love it. So I know during this time, like you were saying, you're not going to post stuff, you know, if, if you're not feeling like it, which, which is reasonable. Um, but also, also during this time, um, you know, hairstylists are kind of like mini psychologists, right? People come to you and they tell you everything about their lives. So this right. is a time where a lot of people are staying at home and uh, have a lot of time to think they're with their family, but yet they feel like, you know, some people have lost their job. So that could be a very stressful moment. Not everybody's going to be having a good time right now. Um, if anything, there's millions of people losing their jobs, millions of people trying to figure out how to make ends meet. And so I wanted to uh, touch base a little bit on mental health at the moment because yeah. you've um, I saw a lot of people um, asking you for some advice and um, or just in general, how are you dealing with the whole situation, you know? Yeah, you know, um, you know, when I say like, I don't post to Facebook or social media about what's happening at the moment and stuff, um, doesn't mean that I'm not connecting with people because I, you know, I have my tribe and I think everybody needs to have their tribe and of people who you can rely on and talk to and, and be with. And, and so among these women that are part of my tribe, there's been conversations about how hard it is for um, to be at home, you know, a couple of situations are at home, both parents working from home and then two toddlers, like under four years old. Can you imagine? I no. am like so grateful my son is in sixth grade because no offense to the school system, but sixth grade, you can kind of get away with because it's not really counting towards college and it hasn't really, you know, it's like right, right. sixth grade of a wash as far as especially this year <laughs> um but um for those parents um and especially single mothers right that are like single parenting working homeschooling like the whole homeschooling thing like i said sixth grade they're kind of he's he's out there right now he's like he knows what to do he knows where to be on his zoom calls and all of that and but those people with kids that are like, what, fourth grade and under and yeah. having to work, it's like, I was talking to a friend yesterday and I just said to her, I go, you have to make time for yourself. You and your husband, cause she's married. I'm like, you both need to set a time. Like I'm going to go for a walk for an hour by myself. Right. And you guys each have the time where one person's handling the kids and you go, go pray, meditate, go for a walk in nature, do something to just connect yourself to, you know, the universe and, and our faith and like to get centered. You know, I really think that this time is a time of spirituality and connecting. I know Definitely. that's kind of deep for some people, but it's like, this is an awakening. The whole yeah. world shut down, like the right, yeah. whole world, you guys. And it's like, when you really think about this, it's like the whole world shut down. Mother Earth said, you know what? This has all got to stop. I've got holes in my ozone. My water's polluted. The skies are smoggy. This is a time, like I look around Los Angeles and, and we can see across the valley. It's like, holy crap, it is beautiful out there. <laughs> There's actually stuff over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unbelievable how the world right now is just cleaning and rejuvenating. Uh -huh. So if yeah. you look at that time, as far as that goes, like we can be grateful for that. 
you know, and yeah. she may yeah. say, you know what, you guys opened up too soon and I'm going to shut you back down again. I mean, there's talk of that too, but, um, yeah, so I know I, I got a, I got, did a lot there, but, um, it's just, we got to, that's the positivity that I explain to my friends and, and we talk about is like so grateful for this time of rejuvenation within our own spirit and the world. Yeah. I agree. I agree. 100%. Yeah. I mean, we're all very spiritual around here in IQ podcast. <laughs> we are, we are a little bit. <laughs> we, we, we like the good vibes. And, like, uh, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We are very thankful over here and it's just, Seeing it from that perspective definitely changes your bad mentality into good mentality and see, okay, why, why something like this is happening, right? Yeah. This is the time. Like, I, there's people that have worked all their life and they don't even know how to cook and now they're cooking. There's people yeah. that haven't been able to see their kids and for like, you know, a long time for whatever reason and they're with their kids. So this is not just the earth, but this is us as humans being able to do things that we couldn't do before and be with the people that are closest to us and we want need to nourish that right so a relationship is kind of like a plant we got to water it right so right. we don't want water it, it's going to die and so in order for mother mother nature to give us an opportunity that's huge especially it's like okay we're worth we're worthy of being able to stay here in the nurse for more time because you know the earth is kind of like think about it like humans i mean if you take like you said the water the oceans everything it's like how is it going to live Right. And so if it doesn't even have the essentials uh, for it to keep continuing, then where do we go? Right. I mean, yeah. And so it's, it's a moment to definitely reflect and find that inner peace as well uh, with ourselves and find the, the humanity of it. There's so much people out there that just are missing that and in general we need to just bring that together. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I, thank you so much. I mean, we're so excited to have you here. You're doing fantastic things. Keep doing what you're doing. And we'd love to have you back. Maybe Crystal. What's the name of your book that you wrote? Yeah. Oh, my book. I have it right here, as a matter of fact. Oh, looky there. <laughs> uh, it's called The Five F Words to Manifesting Your Life, guys. <laughs> nice. Um, how the book came about, though, it's not because I'm like some great author or writer or anything like that. It's um, in 2018, the very beginning. Uh, as a uh, head hairstylist of TV shows, Living My Dream, I had decided that I needed to go around speaking to beauty schools and hair shows okay. about my journey and how I became head hairstylist of all these shows. And what happened was um, people started asking me, they were feeling so inspired because I would talk about my five F words, which is figure out what you want, focus, fearless action, feel it already existing and faith. Okay. So people were feeling inspired and empowered. And then they started asking me, do you have a book? And I was like, no. And by the fifth time, which I already know, it only takes three times for me to hear from the universe or God and, and be like, I need to do it. But I had to, cause I'm not a writer. I was like, how do I do this? So yeah. the fifth time I said to my speaking coach, um, I need to write a book. And I want it to be small. I want it to be under 100 pages because one of the best books I ever read on a plane from LA to New York was Seven Spiritual Guides. Or, I'm sorry, The Seven Spiritual. Uh, oh my God, the special. Pause this up. The Seven Spiritual Steps to Success. Deepak Chopra. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I, I think seven, I know what book you're talking about. Yeah, it's a small spiritual book. Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak yeah. Chopra. It was under 100 pages. It was amazing. And I said to myself, I don't know why, but I was like, if I ever write a book, this is what I want to do. So I did, you guys. It's under 100 pages. It's on Amazon. It's like an hour and 15 minute power read. Just easy, simple. Um, there's, you know, my life, like little anecdotes and stories and, um, you know, I talk about a lot of things that I've gone through that have helped me along the way and literally staying positive and having faith and letting go of the outcome, let up, let go of the control of trying to figure things out. You know, this is a perfect opportunity and time for this and you can get it on Amazon or you can get it on my website and I would sign it and send it to you. <laughs> What's your website, Carolyn? My website is my name, which is, you know, uh, Gerilyn Stevens, 
And if you don't know how to spell that, um, you could look up Hollywood Hairstylist on Facebook or Instagram, and my that'll come up as me and my links there. So, yeah, okay. or just my name, GerilynStevens.com. That's awesome. Have you ever considered of doing workshops and things like that for you know, you know people that have yeah. that? Type of I have, I have. Um, you know, it's a lot, you guys. And now I've had the time, right? Um, it's been a, it's been a, a crazy, like, you know, this time has given us so much time to like figure things out, right? So I kind of went into this thing of like, what am I meant to do here? You know, and I find that my followers that I have really appreciate my hair tutorial skills. And then I'll pop mm -hmm. in some of my F words into the tutorials, or sometimes I'll just have a one-on-one -on -one with me in the, the recording and talk about what's going on, like with sobriety and things like that. And it's like, um, I don't know how I don't, I'm so, I don't know about the workshops, like how to go about that. I figure, you know, the universe is going to kind of provide those things. I don't know. Oh, I think the universe is talking to you right now because funny thing, I, I keep podcasts. We actually going to start doing workshops with our guests. Oh. So, um, you know, we can bring in the um, people in and then you said, you know, this workshop is going to be with Geraldine and today we're going to talk about the five F and how to, um, apply it to your life, whatever that may be. It doesn't have to be hairstyling, but whatever that may be. Right. And then we will bring you in and then we'll bring everybody because we have a kind of bigger following. We started a month ago, but I mean, our following is like been good. Yeah. And uh, people who have read your book as well and be like, here you go. This is going to be, you know, Geraldine or the, or the people that haven't read your book. Maybe that's a good introduction to introduce right. your book as well. And so, because everybody is at home, I figured, all right, so we can't do person in workshop, but we can do online workshop, yeah. right? right? And that's yeah. like a good feature for all our guests. Are, we have so many different guests and they have so many things and wonderful things they're doing and they want to share that knowledge and they want to share their experience and they want to share, you know, um, like your book. That's, that's huge. Well, uh, you know, there's people that might be yeah, and the great thing is, like, just because I'm a hairstylist, the book has nothing to do with how to do hair or how to make right. it in the industry. It's about life. Like, I manifested my husband, right? And and life is about happiness. That's like the ultimate goal, and that would be in all aspects of our life: love, career, money, relationships, and 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 joy. And so it's like this, the five F words, you know, and we all are manifesting all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's a matter of like, are you blocking yourself? Right. By oh, some of your thinking, yep. negative mm -hmm. thinking, or how can I change this to make it more positive? And, you know, maybe it's not, you don't really believe you are worthy. Right. right. And so that's going to block you. I want this, but I don't believe I should have it. You know, so that's the great thing about the book is that it's for everyone. And that would be a great opportunity for me and people to really have some sort of guidance. Absolutely. It's, I think this would be a great introduction for you and for the amazing work that you're doing. And like you said, life in general, because my life's happening right now at this life. moment as we speak, you know. And so, yeah, let's, let's talk about it further, but I'm so excited that you were able to make it today and sharing the inspirational things that we need today. <laughs> and so, uh, Krista, you have anything to add? No, I don't have anything to add. I just want to say thank you for your time and, and thank you, Krista, for allowing me to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care. Thank you, Geraldine, and we'll see you soon.